It's been 30 years since the Democratic Convention riots of 1968 pitted police and protesters against each other. But some fear history will repeat itself this week in Seattle as the World Trade Organization prepares to hold its first ever meeting on U.S. soil. Looks like you're going to be having a very healthy baby four months from now. Doc, will you look after this woman? Because she's made me very happy. <laughs> We believe that all the protesters will be concentrated there. How many protesters are we expecting? Several thousand. It's taken two years to bring the World Trade Organization to Seattle, and we did it! We've got 13 major intersections downtown, and each of the affinity groups are going to shut these areas down. Now, how are we going to do it? Non-violently. That's right. What do you think is going to happen if you start smashing up downtown? Well, I think we're going to start a riot. Be tough on your issues, but be gentle on my town. We're moving now. Go, go, go! The protesters have seized the intersections outside. Aren't the police preventing that? You're bringing the National Guard. The whole community is going to become alarmed. Radio saying we got some 30,000 protesters down there. Some of our boys are having a hard time. You know, Miss Jensen. You're ruining everything we work for, and we stopped them today. And what about tomorrow? Peace will protest. The streets of Seattle have descended into chaos. What the hell's going on out there? I am not going to start gassing people, you understand? I think we're past having that choice. Three, I three, three, I three, 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 three,